Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour. It is July 2023, and sometime last month, Google announced that Google Photos web version has a new editor with some of the fancy new features that have been available on the phones for quite some time. You may or may not have seen it yet. They are rolling it out. So I want to show you what to expect and how to use it. First, let me explain the screen that you're seeing. I have pulled up the same photo side by side. On the left, this is the photo coming from my personal Google Photos account, Chris. And I have not yet gotten the new web editing features. On the right hand side is just a different account. It's my, it's a test account I call Alice and she has received the new editor. So I am going to be able to show you side by side. So the editing button is the same. I'm going to click the edit button on my account and you see three menus. This this one is filters, adjustments, and crop and rotate. On Alice's account, I click the same button for edit, and she has five, but notice the filters is just at the far right rather than at the left, adjustments, and crop and rotate. So the same three old menus are there, plus two more. I'm going to edit this photo with the old menu and then do the same with the new menu using the same features. So this photo is too dark. Notice I have light here. I can just make it lighter, but that makes the whole thing lighter. I don't like that. If you click on the down arrow, it reveals all the options underneath light, and I just want to make the shadows lighter. I drag that over. I like that better. Now for color, I think there should be more color in here. But once again, and I'm going to close the light up so we see it. If I just drag over on color, that increases all the colors. What I want is for there to be more of a sunrise color, which would be warmth. So I drill down by clicking the drop down arrow and I'll just drag warmth over. Ooh, I like that. Then I like the pop option. It makes it just brighter. So that was all done on the old menu issue is they kept things neat and tidy underneath drop down arrows. The last thing I want to do to this picture is crop it. So I click on the crop tool and I can just I can just drag however I want. But let's say I need this to be a perfect square for some reason. On the old menu, this is the aspect ratio button. I click it and I see my options. I can choose square. Now, no matter how I crop it, it's going to be a perfect square. And I am done with that. Now I'm going to do the same things using the new menu. Same picture. I click on adjustments. And instead of having to drill down, they're all here. There is the one for shadows keep scrolling down and I get to the ones for color. I increase the warmth and scroll down some more and I see pop. Then when I click on crop, all of the aspect ratios are available. I click square and now it is a perfect square. Now to show you the new features, I've switched to a different photo because it is pictures of people's faces that are most affected by the new features. So I'm using Alice's account because she has the new one and click edit. And notice under suggestions, we're going to have a completely different set. It takes a minute to analyze the photo and gives us suggestions based on this photo. So portrait. And since this is a multicolored one, you need to be a Google One subscriber, meaning you can't be just using the free version of Google Photos. You have to be paying at least $2 a month. So that has accentuated our faces and put the background in a little bit of a blur.
But here's another one, Color Pop. That puts the background in black and white and leaves the people in the foreground in color. Now I go over to Tools and I have even more. I can click Blur and now the background is not only black and white, it is also blurred and I can blur it even more, dragging this little slider over. So those are some of the new features and they will be different depending on what the photo is that you're using.